Hey guys, this is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics and so in this video we're going to be talking about four systems across the Atlantic Basin. So we have Tropical Depression Nicholas which is located just at the borderline of Texas and Louisiana and we also have Invest 95 and 96L as well as New Disturbance expected to emerge off Africa and so before I get into details. Alright, so let's kick start things with Nicholas. And so as of right now, Nicholas is a very weak tropical cyclone, but the rainfall threat still remains for portions of the Gulf Coast of the US. And so taking a look at the rainfall potential map, we're seeing here that uh, up to six inches of rainfall are possible across sections of the Gulf Coast, mainly the southern portion of Mississippi and Alabama, as well as portions of the western Florida Panhandle. And so please take measure of precautions and stay safe as Nicholas is going to be making its way by so it is currently moving very slowly and it is going to become a remnant low very very soon and so now let's move on to our disturbances and so this first one it is located just off the coast of Africa so low pressure area is expected to develop in that region and there's the potential that we could have some development taking place but as we're seeing here it is likely that this system is going to be heading out to sea and it's not going to be a threat to land during the next few days but nevertheless we still have to watch it and see what's going to be the eventual outcome and so now let's talk about our invest so first up is invest 95 l and so as of right now it is located just to the south southwest of the Cabo verde islands and it is given a high 90 percent chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days and so we're seeing here that it is mainly a westward track anticipated from this disturbance and so it might enter the caribbean and we definitely have to watch this as time goes by but this can change guys so we have to wait and see what's going to be the eventual outcome but it is likely that probably by the next few days or so maybe before the end of this week this will become a named storm and if it develops first before the other invest then it will occur the name Odette which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season and so looking at what it is on satellite we're seeing here that it is not so organized but we do have some shower and thunderstorm activity taking place and it is likely that as it emerges into more favorable conditions it is going to be looking a lot better on satellite and eventually intensifying and so based on what our models are forecasting in terms of its potential intensity we have quite a bit of models available and uh, most expect that it will become a tropical storm and quite a bit out of that number are predicting that it is going to be a hurricane which isn't impossible once conditions are just right then we will have some intensification taking place of the disturbance and so I would say for on the Eastern Caribbean heads up and uh, we'll have to wait this was going to be the eventual outcome as I said earlier things can change with this disturbance and so now let's take a look at invest 96 L so this is the disturbance that's located uh, well to the east of Florida and so as you're seeing it is given a high 70% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days and so this disturbance here is going to be making its way up to the north really parallel in the east coast of the US and eventually it's going to be turning out to sea so it's not expected to directly bring impacts to the US but once it is making its way by then it can kick up that surf and that can cause some dangerous surf currents so it is possible that this will develop uh, probably into a weak tropical cyclone but nothing very strong is really anticipated from this disturbance especially as it is going to be making its way into cooler waters and so looking at what our models are forecasting in terms of the track we have quite a bit available and we have most agreeing on the same thing that it is not going to be bringing any direct impacts to portions of the u.s and it is going to be a fish storm which means that it is going to be staying out to sea and so looking at what the models are expecting in terms of its intensity we have quite a bit available again so most agree that we will definitely have this becoming a tropical storm and a few expecting that it will achieve hurricane status and so the next name after Odette is Peter so if we have this disturbance developing after 95L then it will occur the name Peter but we have to wait and see which is going to be developing first but based on the formation chance then it would be 95L that develops into a tropical cyclone first and so in terms of it on satellite we're seeing here that it's not looking the very best right now in terms of organization but but it is going to be in a conducive environment that is going to be enabling 
more development of the students in the next few days. And so now let's take a look at how conducive conditions are. And so first up is the sea surface temperature map. And so we're seeing here that in the vicinity of the Caribbean, ocean temperatures are very, very warm. And coming from the coast of Africa going westward, ocean temperatures are favorable enough to enable 95L to steadily intensify. But other factors such as the wind shear is really going to be determinant if the system is going to be intensified much because we know that once the shear is unfavorable then we won't have much intensification of the system and so we will go to the wind shear map very shortly but in terms of the ocean temperatures for the most part quite conducive to enable development of our systems guys and so let's look at the wind shear map now and so the different colors they show different intensities of shear so we have the green that means favorable the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable so we have some unfavorable shear that is present across parts of the main development region but as time goes by conditions are to become more favorable to enable 95 l to intensify more and then in the vicinity of 96 l it is in a favorable environment right now so we could have some steady development of the system but once it accelerates into less favorable shear then we will have the system sort of breaking apart and do not intensify much so we really have to wait and see how things are going to be but it is likely that maybe by the end of this week we will we will have two new name storms odette and peter and one which is currently 95 l being a threat to the Caribbean. So again, if you're in the Eastern Caribbean, you want to keep an eye on this because it is certainly possible that it could make its way into our vicinity. And so guys, that is really it for this update video on the tropics. So again, we have Nicholas, which is a weakening tropical cyclone. It is a depression and it is likely to become a remnant low probably by the next few days or so. But it's still a rainfall threat to portions of the Gulf Coast. Some states can experience up to 6 inches of rainfall. And in terms of our invests, it is possible that we can have them both developing into named storms by the end of this week, becoming Odette and Peter. And then we have that new disturbance that could develop probably by next week into another tropical cyclone. And so the name after Peter is Rose. So if we have all three of those systems developing, then three more names are going to be off the list for this hurricane season. And so guys, if you found this video to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And just remember to always be wise. And of course, I will keep you updated as time goes by.